20. Okay, so now I'm going to be uh, telling you about a little bit about the Wells Watershed Coalition. Pretend I'm Dave Hensel. Dave, a really awesome guy, and I'm sorry that he's not here. Um, we formed the Wells Watershed Coalition several years ago in 2012 because we saw in um, Georgia, particularly, that there wasn't any water sampling going on, that there wasn't anybody advocating on behalf of between the Flint and the Satilla. It was just this gap in the middle between the Flint and the Satilla. Well, what's in between the Flint and the Satilla? Swine Basin. So we said, well, let's just look at what's in Florida, or not look at what's in Florida, let's look at what's in Georgia and see what we can do. And we formed the Wells Watershed Coalition. Folks from Tifton, Valdosta, Nashville, Georgia, um, got together, and, and every week we pitched in a little bit of money. We said, everybody put in five dollars a dollar, whatever you got, until we had enough money to incorporate. And we got incorporated as a nonprofit. And um, then all of a sudden things were zooming along. And we had um, all sorts of people who had expertise that we didn't have come and talk to us, like Gordon, Gordon's mom, and people from Forest Street, and people from EPD, and uh, people from the city of Alasa that do uh, stormwater management. And they came and talked to us every month for a whole year while we learn stuff. Uh, now we have our organization pretty well formed. We have an outing every month where we go and enjoy the rivers. We do trash pickups a couple times a year. We're supposed to pick up our trash on Sunday uh, during the hurricane. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we advocate on behalf of the rivers. And the rivers in the watershed in the Swanee Basin are numerous. We have the Withlacoochee. Little Coochie, the Alakaha, the Little, the Swanee, the New, the uh, Lapahoochee, the um, lots, lots, of, lots of more, lots of, I think there's 20 rivers total. Mm -hmm. um, and then lots of little creeks and stuff. So, um, and the river can't just raise its hand and say, hey, 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 hey. So it needs people to do that and to go to government meetings and to uh, be an advocate for clean water, especially for the aquifer where we drink. Because every one of us that puts on well, whether it's city, county, or private, it goes down to that same aquifer. And we're all drinking the same water. So we really need to protect that water on the ground. So in um, 2015, 2015 um, we applied to be a Waterkeeper International affiliate to say, well, not really ready to be a member yet, but we'd like to be an affiliated organization. And they said, okay. And then we said, well, we want to take on the upper swine part, this part two. And they were like, okay. And then the next year we said, well, we actually want to become a whole full-fledged member. And we want to have a staff person and have an office and have responsibility for the swine basin, including the lower swine. They said, okay. So, they have confidence in us. We have confidence in us. We are zooming along. Um, I invite you to become a member today if you're not already a member. Uh, we're completely membership driven so that when polluters need to be held accountable, we can do that. And then we don't have the situation where they say, oh, but you took our money, so now no, 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 no. So by being a member organization, we are completely free. So please, if you're not a member, become a member today. Now. Are you next? 15 minutes, and the time is 6.44. From now until 7 o'clock, we will hear Swine River Keeper John Corbin talk about four years of Sable Trail, Sable Fail, Hawk, and the three stitches. <laughs> 